This is the new Lexus RZ. It's the first ever Lexus that's been designed to be a pure electric car from the ground up, although it actually borrows loads of bits from Toyota, and it also borrows some of Tesla's ideas and takes them to the next level. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the new RZ. Because I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel, that way you won't miss any of these breaking news videos. Buy, sell, Car Wow. Everyone loves a big grill, right? Well, not Lexus, not anymore. Most of its cars have an absolutely massive spindle-shaped grille at the front. Just check out the NX SUV or the LX Off-Roader. But the new RZ is a bit different. It doesn't even have a grille at all. Instead, there's a small intake under the number plate, but the rest of the bumper is completely blanked off, a bit like on a Tesla Model Y. Although I reckon the Lexus looks much more interesting than that blobby car, especially if you go for an optional two-tone paint job. Meanwhile, down the sides, the RZ has a crease that goes from the front wheel to the back door, and the kink in the back windows looks like it was inspired by the Lexus LC Coupe. You get 18-inch alloy wheels as standard, which will probably look a little bit too small, but top specification models come with 20-inch alloy wheels. Although, the oval-shaped wheel arches remind me of deflation balloons. Instead of smooth lines, the new Lexus RZ is covered in straight edges and pointed corners at the back. The two fins on the roof remind me of the ones on a Lotus Electra, but the rest of the RZ looks pretty similar to the facelifted Lexus NX. What do you think? Do you like the way it looks or would you rather play it safe and go for a Tesla Model Y? I'll put a pinned comment below this video get and vote in it. Lexus loves to design car interiors based on Japanese sayings, and the RZ was apparently inspired by the concept of Tazuna. This is when a jockey uses very small movements to control their horse. Basically, it means Lexus has got rid of as many unnecessary buttons in the RZ's cabin as possible. As a result, it looks much simpler inside than any other Lexus you can buy right now. The only thing on the center console is a small rotary gear selector, and most of the controls have been moved into the big central touchscreen. I'll tell you more about that in a bit, but first, let's look at some of the RZ's gimmicks. For example, you can get it with the special knee heater that makes it feel like you're wearing a warm blanket while you're driving. Who says Lexus? only makes cars for old people, huh? You can also get a dimmable panoramic glass roof with a special coating that retains heat in the winter and reflects it in the summer. That way you don't have to use the air conditioning as much, which helps the car use less electrical energy. And more energy means better range. The Lexus RZ comes with dual motors as standard. There's a 204 horsepower motor at the front and a 109 horsepower motor at the back. Together, you get 313 horsepower, and they give the RZ four-wheel drive. This means that the RZ has almost 100 horsepower more than the Toyota BZ4X that it's actually based upon. Four-wheel drive versions of that Toyota have to make do with just 215 horsepower. Unsurprisingly, this means the Lexus is a lot quicker than the Toyota. The RZ does 0 to 60 miles an hour in 5.6 seconds, which is more than two seconds less than the Toyota does the sprint in. However, a Tesla Model Y long range is still quicker by far. That'll do 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds. Speaking of Teslas, just like the Tesla Model S, you can get the Lexus RZ with a steering yoke instead of a normal wheel. Lexus actually borrowed the idea from the Toyota BZ4X because these cars are actually very similar underneath. The yoke is supposed to give you a better view of the instruments and the road ahead than a normal steering wheel does. But in my experience, a yoke steering wheel is actually a bit more harder to use. However, the Lexus RZ might be a bit different. This is because Lexus has given the car a new electric steer bar wire system, where you're actually not physically turning the wheels yourself using the steering wheel. Instead, the steering wheel is working like a computer and then some motors are turning the wheel. Hmm. This setup means that Lexus can make the steering much more sensitive than a normal car's at lower speeds. And so you shouldn't have to twirl the yoke like a normal wheel when you're turning sharply or parking. Lexus says you only have to turn the wheel 150 degrees in one direction to get maximum steering lock. In a Tesla Model S, you need to turn it more than 400 degrees to get maximum steering lock because the yoke is still physically connected to the front wheels. This should make the Lexus RZ much easier to drive in town than the Tesla. But what happens if your battery goes flat? Does that mean you can't steer? Well, Lexus has thought about this. It's given the RZ a secondary backup power supply that'll make sure the steering keeps working if the main batteries are flat. Oh, thank God for that. Lexus infotainment systems used to be really frustrating, mostly because you controlled them using an annoying touchpad or weird joystick, like a kind of computer mouse that wasn't as good as a computer mouse. Anyway, the RZ doesn't have any of that nonsense. Instead, you get a brand new 14-inch touchscreen infotainment system with cloud-based navigation, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. You also get over-the-air updates to make sure your car has the latest software. And Lexus has added a voice control personal assistant because every car needs one these days. Any guesses what it might be called? Yes, you activate it by going, hey, Lexus. Didn't see that one come in. 
The Lexus RZ comes with the same electrical system as the new Toyota BZ4X. This means you get a 71 kilowatt hour battery mounted under the floor to make sure the car's center of gravity is as low as possible. Lexus hasn't confirmed how quickly you'll be able to recharge the RZ when you do find a plug, but it should be the same as the Toyota BZ4X. That car comes with 150 kilowatt fast charging that can boost the battery from flat to 80% full in about half an hour. Lexus also says the RZ's battery should retain around 90% of its total capacity after 10 years. Lexus has fitted the RZ with its new Direct 4 drive system. This automatically controls how much power each motor sends to the front and rear wheels to maximize grip and increase efficiency. Both motors can send between 0 to 100% of their power to the front and rear wheels completely independently, depending on road conditions, current speed, and steering angle. Lexus says this electrical system can react in just a few milliseconds, which is much quicker than a normal mechanical four-wheel drive system. The Lexus RZ has around 250 miles of range. That's around 35 miles less than you get in a dual-motor Toyota BZ4X and almost 70 miles less than the single-motor BZ4X. The reason for this downgrade in range is because the Lexus is significantly more powerful and it does come with a special range mode to help you eke out a few extra miles at the end of a long drive. This is much more extreme than the normal eco modes you get in most electric cars. It switches off the climate control completely and limits the power you get from the motors to help you reach the nearest charger. As well as electric technology, Lexus has its eye on safety. One of the coolest features on the new RZ is called Proactive Driving Assist. This uses a camera to monitor the angle of upcoming corners and can actually add extra lock if you haven't turned the steering wheel enough. A bit like Lane Keeping Assist, but it should work for tight country roads as well. There's also something called the E latch. This is an electric door release that won't let you open the door if it detects a car or cyclist approaching. Lexus reckons this could help prevent 95% of accidents involving parked cars opening their doors into traffic. You can also get the new RZ with a digital rear view mirror. This shows a live video feed from the rear facing camera on a screen that's built into the central mirror. This may sound like a gimmick, but it's handy if you have tall passengers sat in the back seats who will block your view, or you filled your boot all the way up to the roof with boxes. You can already reserve a new Lexus RZ even though Lexus hasn't confirmed exactly how much it costs. However, I reckon entry level models will probably set you back more than £50,000 while top specification cars will be over sixty to £70,000. That's as much as a Lexus RXL. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. If you click on those windows there, you can watch some more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can go to CarWow to see how much money you can save on your next car. Thanks for watching.